Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, hi guys. So today we are going to be asking some questions. Oh. Yeah, but we're going to fi a filming first. Hmm? I'm going to introduce and then we're going to ask the questions. But you can eat. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Eat with Tina Chai. So today we have Grandpa. As you can tell, he already started eating because he's hungry. But today we are going to be. Oh, I can't eat here. Hmm. Today we are going to be asking him some questions that you guys been wanting to know answers for and of course we're going to be eating as you can tell. So we got some food from Concha which is his favorite dim sum restaurant. So before we start let me just tell you what we got. I know some of you guys would be interested. So we have um, spare ribs and black bean, um, chicken foot and black bean, we have beef hofen, some shrimp ball, shrimp dumplings wonton soup which is what grandpa is having first in supreme noodles i think that's what it's called um, we have some shumai we have some sh um, steamed rice roll with shrimp but they also call it shrimp crepe in the u.s so like i said the um restaurant information will be in the description box down below so let's get started all right, so grandpa, so he kind of, so you ready for the first question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So where were you born? In Jamaica. In Jamaica, which part? Parish of Portland. Parish of Portland. Oh, wow. Is there a specific area in Portland? Like which part of Portland? Country part. Country <laughs> part. <laughs> All right, so I guess he doesn't want to disclose that part. So country part of Portland. Yeah, Prospect. Prospect? Oh, yeah. I've never been there before. Oh. I don't remember there because we moved from there early. Oh, okay, okay. I don't remember a thing about Portland. You don't remember? Okay, all right. All right, so did you live in Portland your entire life while living in Jamaica? No, Kingston. You live, you moved to Kingston? As far as I can remember, I've been living in Kingston. Oh. We left Portland when we were very, very young. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, which part, so you moved, so you went to school in Kingston as well? Hmm? Did you go to school in Kingston as well? Kingston, yeah. Mm -hmm. What school did you go to? Franklin Town Elementary School. Franklin Town Elementary. Did you go to a high school as well? Eh? Did you go to a high school as well? Kingston Technical High School. Okay, okay. All right. So, why why did your parents go to Jamaica? Well, uh, that, that one I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, how did your parents get to Jamaica? Hmm? Were they? How did your parents get to Jamaica? Were they born there? My mom was born there. My dad, I'm not sure. <laughs> You're not sure. Okay. All right. So while living in Jam while live hmm? in your adulthood, what did you do in Jamaica? From what? From what did you do in Jamaica? Like, what was your career? Well, after we left school, mm. went to work. First road job was with a accounting firm. Accounting firm? Mm. Oh, wow. Worked there for, I think, two years. And then uh, left there and went to uh, another f a firm mm -hmm. that um, H. Corn and Company, they were like um, a hardware store, right? And then, then, then. Hardware store? Mm. Then we left from H. Corn and Company and went over to, um, to Masterton Limited, a big engineering company. 
Masterton Limited. Masterton Limited. Master and Limit. Masterton. Masterton Limited. Masterton. A big engineering firm. Oh, okay. Then I worked there for 13 years, and then I retired. Went into business for myself. Went into started a gas station. Oh wow! That didn't work out too good because the people would wouldn't pay me. Oh gosh! <laughs> I, I, I had so much money out on the road. And I just, after about a year or so, I closed it down. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So what what age did you move to the states? Eh? What age did you move to Miami? We moved to Miami in um, when then when after the we left the, 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 after we resigned from work I, st I, hope I started a, um, a, a little used car business. Mm -hmm. you know? I started, so we're selling buying and selling used car. Buying and selling used cars in in Miami. Before I went to Miami. Oh, before you went to Miami. Mm. Okay, okay. The after. And I started to realize that um, people like the American car, so I decided to bring in American car from. And that's when I started. That that was very good. Oh, okay. I did that for about six years. Six years, wow. And then I had a garage in, um, in Old Oak Road. Mm. So. And do repairs. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, what year did you move to Miami? 1976. 1976. Why did you move to Miami? Boy, the violence was getting bad down in Jamaica, man. Oh, wow. So that was, was your main reason? Was scared. Oh. That was... Okay. We so, got scared. Oh, okay. So, what is your favorite memory of Jamaica? I suppose the lifestyle we were used to. And, and, the and, lifestyle? You know, and then the French, the people, mm -hmm. everybody, everybody know everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody is so friendly. Everybody is so friendly, yeah. That's what I love about Jamaica. Everybody is so laid well, back. Well, a little bit of prejudice, but, you know, really never affect us that bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So, what what is your favorite Jamaican food? Favorite Jamaican food, curry lobster. Curry lobster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's small. I always love curry lobster. You always love curry. Did you? Did your parents make it for you? Couldn't afford it, man. Oh. <laughs> when when we're going up in all. Um, uh, my parents have nine children, you know. Nine children. Mm. Can you wow. imagine? That's a lot to feed. So everything was just on to mouth. Yeah. For years and years until we get, everybody started getting big. Mm-hmm. And then one by one, everybody started working. Mm-hmm. And everybody, the most person start working, the better off we got better, better and better, you know. Okay, that is good. So, who was the cook in your family? Mommy or daddy? Or we used to have maid. Oh, you have a maid? Yeah. <laughs> so it's bad, but bad as thing is we usually have a maid. Oh, so she usually and she cook. Used to, she, used to, she usually cook. And mommy and dad used to cook occasionally. But most of the time she did the cooking. Okay. So what, what was your favorite food from her? Well, anything like brown stew. I love brown stew. Anything brown shoe, pork, brown shoe, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Anything in the brown shoe dinner, hello. Oh, anything brown And of course, shoe. the usual stew peas and rice is a favorite for everybody. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. All right, so what is one thing that you have to get when you visit Jamaica? What is the one meal? Hmm? What is the one food that you have to get when you visit Jamaica? When you visit Jamaica? Yeah. What is the one thing you always have to eat? Curry lobster, man. <laughs> <laughs> curry lobster. Curry lobster. Go, go to Port Royal. We always go to the Port Royal and get a curry lobster. Okay, that sounds good. Right. So you want, you want to get anything else? Grandpa? No, I'm going to myself. Okay. 
So what is your favorite food at the moment? No, no, no favorite really. No yeah. favorite. Lid, 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 everything, you know. Mm. Mm. But alright, so what is one food that if you could eat for the rest of your life, what would it be for breakfast, lunch or dinner? Oh boy, that's a good question. I don't just I don't know. I, I, I don't really, I, I, no, I'm not really fussy with food. I'll eat a little of everything, you know. Oh, okay. Sometimes you feel like eating different different things, but Okay. I don't like to eat it same thing every day, every day, every day. Oh, wow. every day. You want to mix it up? I have a variety. You know? Okay, yeah. okay. All right, so I think that's it for today. We've asked Grandpa a lot of questions, and I think we're just going to enjoy the rest of our food for this afternoon. And thank you so much, Grandpa. For... Oh, thank you for all the food. <laughs> <laughs> so We have a lot of food here. Yes, we do have a lot of food, and we're going to enjoy this very, very much. Um, so that wraps up today's video, and thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you have any other questions for grandpa to answer so maybe we could come up with a part two if you're interested so see you in my next video bye, bye.